it seems surprisingly that there's not kind of a, a generic kind of uniformed, you know, if you want to stand and serve in public office at whatever level, by the way, a council or parliament, then these are the terms that you adhere to. It's not quite as straightforward as that. Not really, no. Every party has its own system. Um, I think what every party should do, I mean, certainly what we do in the SDP is, is do a C CRB check, do a criminal records check. Mm -hmm. And you can't be a council candidate in our party without doing that. That's a minimum requirement. But, you know, the Tories have their sort of old-fashioned uh, boards down that they go away for a, for a weekend and, and see if you can speak or debate or whatever. Um, I've actually passed one of those in my brief time in the Tory party. You so everyone, in the net. Yeah. Every, everyone, has, yeah everyone has different uh, systems. But, I mean, part, partly a story like this. This is very strange what this person said. Uh, but there are 20,000 councillors up and down the country, if you include parish councillors, even more thousands. So on the numbers, you're going to get some weird people creeping into the system, and, and parties will do their very best. I mean, even to be a member of our party, we'll, we'll check you out before you... I mean, very few. I mean, you're very sensible if you join our party. But occasionally people come up, and if there's any doubt, we say, no, we're not having you. Andre Walker, what's the matter with you? Because whilst he's talking, whilst he's talking, you're shaking your head. It's, it's, what's going on? It's just really easy when you've got 15 members to check them all out. It's a bit more difficult if you're Ooh, the Labour Party. Oh, a little dig there. No, I, I, it's Please not, leave. It's, it's, yeah. it's, not, it's not a dig. And actually, you know, Nigel Farage is a presenter on this, on this show, and and he said it was incredibly difficult as party leader to justify every single person that had ever been associated with his political party. Look, I totally disagree with the premise of what you said, and I really disagree with you. But for me, it's not about the vetting. So I'm, I'm a Conservative. I, I was a Conservative political advisor, worked at City Hall, worked at Parliament, all the usual caper. We, you know, we do the CRB checks, we do the background checks, we get references, we get uh, even your, your, you know, some details from your financial history. But the critical point is, I live in a safe parliamentary seat. When we interview you for our parliamentary seats, and I'm not criticising my local MP, if you get the nomination for the Conservatives in my seat, then you'll win. And you will win for 30, 40 years. And absolutely no interest in that beyond beyond what happens then. You know, you look at someone like Neil Parrish. You know, the real the reason that Neil Parrish was able to watch pornography in the chamber... Tractors, was the bloke, tractors. Was, well, tractors, OK. Well, I mean, I mean, he loved tractors, OK? But, you know, you're talking about somebody who the day he was selected for Seton and Honiton, it was a job for life, and he was never going to be scrutinised after that. So, for me, it's not about the initial checks. It's about saying, why on earth can't we, after every single term, for every Every single councillor, for every single MP, say you have to have a full. So, some parties do deselect people. I mean, yeah, yeah Labour Party do that. But it, but, it, but it doesn't happen very often. No. I mean, I'm sick of this phrase, it's my seat. Mm. Well, actually, you know, mm. if, if you were to... I mean, you've run businesses. If you were to employ somebody for four years, that would be reasonable. You wouldn't interview somebody for, say, Kensington and Chelsea and say, well, here's your job for 30 years without any scrutiny. It so you be... think that the parties, once you've successfully been elected, your, your reckoning is you've almost got to earn the right to keep that seat so you would have regular yeah. kind of sanity checks, uh, making sure that you are the right person for that job well, within I, the past. I mean, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as what you've said, though. I don't particularly disagree with it. What, what I would say is, look, you know, you 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 win your selection for one term of office, and you have to fight it again. You know, Nigel has spent years in uh, Parliament. He's a, he's a young lad, but he spent a few years there. But, but, but you know, you, you will know that there are old lags who've been there for 30 years on all sides of the divide who really don't achieve very much, but because they're in such ultra-safe seats, they're never going to be scrutinised.